Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation uh, Engineering uh, YouTube channel. All right. So today I'm going to do the ATA chapter 21 air conditioning lesson number four. All right. So uh, before we start the lesson, I want to tell uh, if you still not subscribe my channel, uh, just subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. And also, if you still not watch my uh, previous videos, like uh, regarding the ATA chapter 21, lesson number one, two, three. So I will put the link in the description so you can check the description and you can watch these videos. And also, I will put uh, a card uh, in there so you can watch uh, the playlist of uh, air conditioning system. All right. So. Uh, and also just uh, share these videos with your friends who like to learn about aircraft maintenance so all right so no need to talk a lot so now let's go to the aircraft uh, ada chapter 21 air conditioning lesson number four all right so today i'm going to discuss about system warnings right system warnings okay so system warnings in this lesson you will learn the warnings appear in air conditioning system all right so the cargo ventilations and heating systems are optional and independent for each compartment all right okay you can see uh, this is the control panel and this is system display you can see the engine and warning display over here right so this is the bleed page right okay so uh, pack one overheat right so in case of pack one overheat so the master cautions comes on right if in case of pack one overheat, you can see the master cautions comes on in amber color right so the single the oral warning sounds comes on like a single kind all right and the pack four lights on the control panels comes on you can see this is the control panel so this is the pack four light is also comes on right so you can see this is the bleed page before the failure happened and after failure happened you can see uh, this uh, is shown the failure mass failure right you can see it looks like amber color and this is in the green color right okay so the failure message shows amber on the engine and warning display also right you can see this is the engine and warning display if the pack one is overheat the failure message also shows in the engine and warning display in amber color you can see our conditioning pack one overheat right the pack flow control valve should start to close pneumatically right when the temperature is above 230 celsius right when the temperature is above 230 celsius the uh, pack flow control valve should start to close pneumatically right and should be fully closed about 260 celsius all right so it will reopen when the overheat disappear right if the if the overheat is disappear it will be reopened right the four lights comes on if the compressor outlet temperature four times about 230 celsius or the above uh, 260 celsius once all right so the pack outlet temperature above 95 celsius so in this case the valve must be closed by setting it control to off all right okay now let's go to the number two the pack one fault okay pack one fault. so in case of pack one fault master cautions comes on you can see the master cautions comes on as as the previous one and the oral warning sounds also appear it's like a single kind and the pack one pack four lights on the control panels comes on you can see this is the control panel and here is the pack four light it also comes on to weep right so the failure message shown amber in the engine and warning display this is the engine and warning display so you can see the failure message you can see from amber color see air conditioning pack one is fault all right okay so the when the pack valve position disagree with the command signal or when the pack compressor outlet temperature exceeds 230 celsius four times during on flight the four lights on the pack control push buttons comes on all right okay so now let's go to the pack one off what happened if the pack one off right so uh if pack one is off if pack one is off master cautions comes on same like the previous one the master caution also appear in amber color and the oral warning sounds as a single kind all right so the pack off lights on the control panels comes into view right so you can see this is the pack off lights see a before messages it will shows amber color the fall now it's shown in the off white color all right so the failure message shows amber on the display you can see this is the display the failure message is shown as in amber color right air conditioning pack one is off and this warning some comes on when the pack is selected off with no force right if there's no fall but we off the pack this uh warning also comes into one actually this is the caution right all right 
So this is the flight phase, right? So I forgot to tell the flight phase. This will happen. Pack one of will happen. Flight phase number six, right? The previous one. This is the for the flight phase number one, two, six, nine, and ten. And this one for the flight phase uh, one, two, six, nine, and ten. Same like that. Okay. All right. Now let's go to the number four. Pack regulation fault. Right. So in case of pack regulation fault, the corresponding message appears on the engine and warning display. Right. If there's a pack regulation fault, uh, only one thing happened. The corresponding message appears on the engine and warning display. See the corresponding message air conditioning pack one regulation fault. This will appear to see. Right. Uh, this will happen in the flight phases number one, two, six, eight, nine and eight. Right. But uh, we cannot see any indication in the control panel and also the uh, system display lead page. Right. Right. You can see the same with the previous one and, and this is the after the regulation fault. All right. OK, so let's uh, in case of pack controller primary computer failure, the pack flow remains at the previous setting. All right. So when primary and secondary computers fail, right, the pack outlet temperature is pneumatically controlled by the anti ice valve to 15 Celsius, right? You have to remember when primary and secondary computers fail, the pack outlet temperature, right? Pack outlet temperature is pneumatically controlled by the anti ice valve, right? Pneumatically controlled by the, not electrically, is pneumatically controlled by the anti ice valve to 15 Celsius. Keep it in mind, all right? Okay, now let's go to the number five, pack one and two fold. Okay, it means pack uh, two packs fold, right? So in case of pack one and two fold, master cautions comes on you can see the master cautions will appear and oral sign sounds comes on is as also uh, oral sounds also comes uh, on as a single kind and the pack four lights on the control panels comes on you can see the pack uh, control panel see the four lights will be appear so right so let's imagine pack two is already off now we're going to appear the pack uh, two is already off due to the previous failure all right so you can see uh Right. Uh, and also uh, you can see the message also shown in air, uh, air conditioning pack one to fall in amber color in the engine warning display. And this is the uh, bleed page uh, before the fault happened. And this is the bleed page after the fault happened. Right. So you can see the pack one is fault. All right. And pack two already off and is a fault. Right. OK. And also you can see this uh, full system also fault. Right. So it's in amber color. Right. Okay, see the uh, over temperature over there. All right. Okay, so now uh, uh, cockpit duct overheat. What happens is there's a cockpit duct overheat, right? In case of duct overheat, in case of duct overheat, master cautions comes on, right? You can see the master caution comes on and oral warning sounds comes on as a single cut. All right. So the hot air for light, right? You can see uh, hot air for light on the control panels comes on, right? If the, in case of duct overheat, in case of duct overheat, hot air for light on the control panels also comes in, comes into view as a amber color. And you can see in the co uh, condition and page, right? So on page, this is the previous one. And after the fall, you can see this line will become amber color, right? So uh, you can see the failure message, current cockpit duct overheat. Right. So this uh, you can see these items and this happened in the flight phase uh, number one, two, six, nine and ten. All right. OK. Any zone duct temperature higher than 89 Celsius. Right. Any zone duct temperature uh, higher than 89 Celsius or 80 Celsius four times during one flight causes the hot air pressure regulating valve and trim air valve to close electrically, right? So this will be closed by electrically, right? The four lights on the hot air push button, this is not AIT, right? Hot air push button goes off when it is set to off and the temperature is back below 70 Celsius, okay? It means the four light on the hot air push button goes off when it is set to off and the temperature is back below 70 Celsius. All right, so keep in mind. All right, now let's go to the hot air fault. So uh, in case of hot air fault, in case of hot air fault, the master cautions comes on. You can see the master caution will be comes on and the oral warning sounds comes on as a single kind. 
and the hot air four lights on the control panels comes on. In this case also, hot air four lights in amber color will be comes on. The failure message shown in the engine warning display in amber color. You can see the failure message also shown. And this is the system display, the con page, and this is the con page. You can see this one also uh, amber color, the hot air uh, valve also in amber color. All right. And this will be happening in the flight phase number one, two, six, nine, and eight, nine, and ten. All right. So now the trim air valve fault. Trim air valve fault. So in case of trim air valve fault, the corresponding message appears amber in engine and warning display. All right. So corresponding uh, message will appear. See, con trim air system fault. So the message is activated when a trim air valve motor is stuck. This message will be activated when the trim air valve motor is stuck. All right, so in this case, the trim air system is completely lost. In this uh, trim air valve fall, uh, in this case, the trim air system is completely lost. And each pack is controlled separately, right? So for pack one for the uh, cockpit and pack two for the cabin to maintain 24 Celsius. All right, okay. So now let's go to the sound regulation for what happened if there's a sound regulation for so in case of primary computer failure sorry uh, yeah in case of primary computer failure or primary and secondary computer failure a corresponding message appears on the engine warning display and con page all right see this is appears on the uh, engine warning display and also um con page all right so in case of primary computer failure in case of primary computer failure message on con page is alternate mode right primary computer failure this will be shown as a alternate mode and sound temperature are controlled to 24 celsius in case of primary and secondary computer failure the hot air and trim air valve close this is also important in case of primary and secondary computer failures the hot air and trim air valves right hot air and on trim air valves both close and pack deliver a fixed temperature pack regulations which is 20 celsius for pack one and 10 celsius for pack two so this is also important factor all right so now let's go to the left and right cabin fan fault right so in case of double cabin fan fault in case of double cabin fan falls uh, first master caution will uh, comes on and the oral warning sounds comes on okay oral warning also comes on as a single kind failure message shown on the engine and warning display right here the failure message can be seen uh, con uh, left right cabin fan fault right you can see in the con page fan uh, message will appear in amber color right so the failure does not downgrade the temperature regulation this failure will not downgrade the temperature regulation okay right so the the uh, it will happen in the flight phases number one two six nine and ten right ne not uh, any uh, failure message uh, will appear on the control panel all right so now let's go to the lavatory plus galley fan fall so in case of lavatory and galley fan fall the corresponding message appears on the engine and warning display right so this is the engine and warning display the corresponding message will be appears on lavatory plus galley fan fall the cabin zone temperature sensors are normally ventilated by the air extracted by the lavatory and galley fan. All right. So the cockpit temperature regulation is normal and therefore the cabin zone temperature regulation is lost when a fan failure occurs. Right. Therefore, cabin zone temperature regulation is lost when the fan failure occurs. Right. So the cabin temperature is fixed to 15 Celsius. In this case, the cabin temperature is fixed to 15 Celsius. So this thing happened in the flight phases number one, two, six and 10 all right okay so now a uh, trim air system for what happened in the trim air system falls in case of trim air system fall the corresponding message appears on the engine and warning display see the corresponding message con uh, trim air system fall so this message will be activated if the downstream pressure of the hot air pressure regulating valve is greater than 6.5 psi above cabin pressure right so this message will activate if the downstream pressure of the hot air pressure regulating valve is greater than 6.5 psi right so if disappears as soon as it drops below 5 psi if it is below 5 psi uh, this message will be disappear right above the cabin pressure yeah so that's that is the end of the system uh, warning so uh, thank you for participating this lessons and uh, next lesson uh, i will going to describe you the pack components in deeply so and the function of the pack components right so uh, thank you uh, for 
uh, stick with me for these lessons and also uh, if you miss the lesson number 1 2 3 lessons uh, please uh, go to my uh, description and check the lessons and then you come to uh, watch this video because it will be helpful for you to get a uh, knowledge so uh, and also if you still not subscribe my channel uh, please subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon for upcoming videos and also if you like this video please like and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends and your relatives if anyone like to learn about aircraft maintenance he can uh, get a roughly idea how the aircraft works and how the aircraft system works through this channel okay so thank you very much again and uh, we will meet on next video thank you very much have a good day for all of you